Hello YouTubers, WD0AKX, Larry in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Gonna show you uh, my 10 meter beacon that is on the air 24 7, running only about a half watt output on 28.2235 megahertz. If you copy the beacon at some point, you're doing pretty good because it's only running about a half a watt out, as you can see on the power meter here. Powering it is a Heathkit 12 volt variable power supply. Just one I had on hand. I could use about anything 12 volt that would work. It doesn't draw much current. I built it into a housing here. It was used for something else at one time. It used to be a Heil device. But I used the housing to build my kit into. I'm using a Little Joe transmitter kit. Is what they're called. It was out of a QST magazine article some years back and it'll run about one watt maximum but I've got it to about a half a watt output right now and a NorCal CW keyer kit there on the left that's what's keying in beacon mode keying my CW text that's going out on the air as you can see the LED flashes with the code I can turn an internal speaker on so you can just hear what the CW sounds like and on the right power indicator I still have some more wiring to do I just need to wire that through a switch yet. And I do run everything through a low pass filter just to keep the harmonics at a minimum. And the setup is located in my back patio here, just on a little table. And the antenna is out in the backyard. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. It's mounted on the corner of my garden, so I've got about uh, 25 feet of cable run out to the antenna. And you can see. Uh, white PVC pipe kind of sticking up out in the corner. We'll take a look at that next. Before we do that I'll show you the schematic of the Little Joe transmitter. That's uh, what the transmitter itself consists of. Alright, we'll take a look in the backyard. Alright, this is the antenna here. Put this PVC tubing over it for the winter time just to keep the snow off the base. It's a 108 inch CB whip antenna that I trimmed for 10 meters, took a couple inches off. Got six ground radials and I haven't buried them in the ground yet. So they're just extending out from the antenna. And the base is just mounted on a little pipe in the ground. So that's basically the vertical antenna for 10 meters. I'll give you a close up. walk on over Get a little closer view here of the ground system just tied onto the base three radials off one side and three radials off the other it's running out over the ground they're each about eight and a half feet long or so And the whip might be kind of hard to see, but you can probably see it there. That's the antenna for the beacon here if you copy it. Nothing fancy, just a quarter wave ground mounted vertical. Nice day here in Minnesota today.